What is black ice and why is it so dangerous? I'm meteorologist Katie Garner, and we know we've got that wintry mix coming in over the next couple of days. It's unusual for Floridians, but I want to catch you up on black ice. I've gotten a lot of questions on what is black ice exactly. Well, it's transparent, right? You can't see it because what happens is it's a thin layer of that transparent ice that can form on sidewalks, roads, parking lots, you name it. It's really hard to see, and that means that you can quickly lose traction, whether you're walking or driving, okay? It forms when freezing rain, snow, or ice melts and then refreezes. And that's sort of why it's transparent and you're not able to see it. It's very clear. It's much more likely to form in shaded areas. So if you're driving down a road of trees, it's more likely to form there than where sunlight might be. And that could be a problem too, because bridges and overpasses are a big part of that. And those bridges, they ice first. So with it being transparent and it blending with the surface, uh, you know, it can form late at night or very early in the morning, which can also make it very dangerous. A lot of people fall on black ice. A lot of cars run off the road. A couple of tips for you if you're gonna be driving. These are official tips that you really need to follow. Think about it this way. If you're driving, you hit black ice, hold your steering wheel 10 and two straight. Don't turn, you'll go off the road. Take your foot off the gas. Let the car slow down naturally on its own. Do not brake. It'll swing the car in a direction that it doesn't need to go. All those things are going to keep you safe in black ice. But again, it's not something you're really going to see with your eyes. If you're out there walking, just really go slow, take your time, and allow patience. You can learn more about black ice on newsforjacks.com.